Okay, so when I first signed up for this spoken word stuff, I was swimming in anger, feeling really quite rough. I had spent some time sulking, screamed into the sea, stomped around a dance floor, but none of that seemed to be successful in shaking my frustrations free. Maybe, I thought, spoken word could be just what I need. It'll give me a platform to rage about greed. I can use that time to get some shit off my chest. I'll rant about politics, modern medicine, and bad sex. I could go on a tirade about all the ways we have been destroying this planet. I could go on for days. And don't get me started on the 1%. While hardworking families can't afford to pay rent, see a doctor, or send their kids to safe schools, they collude with politicians to play us for fools. They're making mockeries of our so-called democracies, and they know damn well that they're killing the bees by spraying all that shit on genetically modified seeds. They think indigenous land and even water is theirs for the taking? They pretend to care with their charitable foundations, but their sole motivation is the money they're making. I'd also like to bitch about the patriarchy. What a fucking load of malarkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my, okay. There's so much damage that we inherit from a society with warped distortions of gender propriety. It's no wonder we all need so much therapy. You wanna know something else that I hate? that whether Black Lives Matter is up for debate? Trigger-heavy cops are immune to the law, and no matter how many times it happens, there is no last straw. The men of color who manage to avoid getting shot often end up in highly lucrative prisons where their futures rot. And their crimes, the heinous offenses that landed them in jail, are often the same things their preppy white peers do at Yale. Oh, and another thing that's completely absurd, that thing in the White House is just like a turd that won't flush when you've shit at a new lover's place. <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing! What do we do? We have got to get rid of this disgusting piece of poo. Let's find a way to flush it away and then spend some serious time contemplating just what we ate that passed through our system and came out in that States. <laughs> oh, America, we have got some real problems to face. I could write my entire piece on just that one place. Or I could make it Copangan specific. Copangan was a little island where I wrote and performed this filled with like love and light spiritual hippie folks. I could go on and on about just how prolific the bullshit is there with the hippies and seers who talk all the talk but must not own mirrors. Mm -hmm. The healers who can't heal what in themselves is sick. Mm -hmm. They host workshops, give massages, but it's a tan trick. Mm -hmm. They say ridiculous things like good vibes only as if one could permanently avoid feeling lonely mm -hmm. or sad or hurt or depressed we don't get to have joy and just ignore all the rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, I thought I will sign up today. I'll channel all of this anger into something to say. Mm -hmm. But I procrastinate a lot. And as the days came and went, I found ways to vent. I talked to some friends who listened with care, and they helped me to see some blessings in there. I gained insight, learned lessons, found new things to see when I went into the shadow and found pieces of me. Things I had suppressed, didn't want to acknowledge, patterns I've been repeating since long before college. But a bit like an oyster turns sand into a pearl, I can untangle these threads and let them unfurl into the beautiful tapestry that is my life, full of joy and sorrow and triumph and strife. And all of this introspection is rarely fun. I would so much prefer to just play in the sun. Sometimes I get so sick of all this learning and growing. <laughs> I so desperately wish I could just be easygoing. But progress is showing. Newfound awareness helps me to see how I could handle things a little more gracefully. Compassion and forgiveness make room for more love, and in doing so, help me to rise above the petty attachments and expectations that come from an egoic place and set me apart from the rest of the race. Gradually, I get back to gratitude. I'm thankful even for those who bring out my attitude. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I am able to see how they're really all just different versions of me. They're helping me grow and all that good shit. 
Taking the stuff we don't like and using it to transmit the hurt into healing, the pain into gain, the suffering to sweetness so that it's not all in vain. And then, from this place, the whole world opens up. Possibilities abound. Abundance awaits. These are the things I want to help circulate so that we can all step forward together and co-create a new paradigm where we're free to investigate and communicate, collaborate, educate, menstruate, <laughs> masturbate. We can eradicate all that old dead weight and in doing so cultivate a world where we cooperate and eventually reincarnate into a new way of living that we can all celebrate. Yeah. <laughs>